VB. I think it was 2-0. Oh, um, so he's already sort of messed up the bracket and now finding himself up against Zomba, who, as we know, has been such a fantastic player, always placing well here at the Xenos. Mm -hmm. And honestly, that's sort of how it is over here at Xeno, regardless. Even in pools, you have a bunch of people talking about, like, oh, yeah, you know, the first round two, round three. It's already starting to get really difficult. Some upsets happen here all the time. Yeah, and now we'll see whether Chaos can, in fact, take it further. You know, I don't think it was a fluke that he beat Vivi, but at the same time, to repeat that kind of success against Zomba, it's going to be... Uh, that would be quite a statement. And right now, they're pretty even about neck and neck, but Limit on deck can maybe, especially near the top of that screen, oh. was very good with it, utilizing the extra little bit of speed from Limit there to try to chase down a landing, which Rob, very good at recovering, but landing, he's still quite wide and quite big. Yeah, especially because neutral air, one of his favorite landing options, probably oh, loses out to that up smash for sure. Mm -hmm. Disjointed as it is, you're not going to land through that. And now this is actually a big, big lead for Chaos. And once again, it has a limit. Limit only lasts for about 15 seconds, but at the very least, the mobility increase can help, as well as recovering off stage is not going to be nearly as much of an issue. Yep. Actually using that, it's very difficult to get any sort of punish on Limit Cross Slash there, let alone take your turn. Um, trying to push something there, but Chaos doing his best to make sure he's not pushed off the ledge at this percent. It's very difficult for Cloud to survive. Great pickup right there. Tries to go for that up B, but Zombo was not there and is able to get right back in time for the up smash. But, oh man, that up B does so much damage every time it connects. And now Zomba needs to figure out how to maybe take an early stock from Chaos. This is Cloud. He can do that. And he's trying to, down tilting, pushing him towards the ledge. But a one quick and reversal. You see him there. Zomba was just playing at that little range. He's like, I don't want to commit too much. I want to hold this entire stage. And the moment he got forward, Chaos was there, and all the stage was his there. Okay, yeah, knowing that limit was going to run out soon, just throws out the blade beam to just see if it can get ahead of some kind. And, oh, that's wow. not actually take it. He parried it and didn't get punished, and then punished him for trying <laughs> to punish him with a parry. <laughs> Cloud forwarder, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it is sometimes. Oh, my God, he just doesn't roll! <laughs> well, that was out of hit stun. He's like, he got hit, and he's like, no. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> You know, if so, you're at that percent with Cloud, why not? I mean, if you hit him and you knock him off stage, even if he's not dead, he's you're edge guarding a Cloud. And now he's got him in a ledge trap situation, although Chaos does knock him out of that decently. He's fighting his way back on stage, but Zomba's never giving it up too fast. Now Chaos had been up this entire game, but now he finds himself trapped at the ledge and at a slight percent deficit here. Ooh, an anti-air option using up B. Mm -hmm. And that's really hard to... Most people, when they anti-air, they're looking for the descent when they come down as well. It's very difficult to preemptively go, ah, yes, I will air dodge this, um, you know, anti-air option as I'm rising. That's very rare to come into play, so smart by chaos on that. Okay, another one of these back throws putting it on the ledge. This is so scary. The gyro is just such a... That's right, no that jump. should be it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, without limit, you saw that it was nowhere near enough. Mm -hmm. And Zomba, despite the fact of being down, by a lot of that game for a really long time, he he's just has a lot of experience as a player, knew what his win conditions were, mm -hmm. and he was taking stocks exactly when he needed to, so at the end, he had enough wiggle room that he was able to make that comeback happen. Absolutely. And it's important to remember that for all these characters with uh, difficult recoveries or exploitable weaknesses, it can be very volatile, especially with a character like Rob, who has uh, strengths in pretty much every area. He's not the best at a lot of those places, but he does have um, very many uh, areas of comfort. And now we're going to get into game two. And it's Good already job. at the ledge, where he's showing a 51% on the board. Very comfortable start for Zomba. At the same time, if you're Chaos, you're like, oh, thank God I'm back. <laughs> you're exactly. like, I only took 50. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's like that against a player like Zomba. Exactly. As Cloud is just like, oh my god, I'm not off stage without my jump. Thank god. <laughs> Another day live. <laughs> Both your legs are broken, but you're like, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Early up in there. Zomba ready for the punish. I also, Zomba not going through any down throws. He's not trying to go for combos. Instead, just put him off stage because he knows that that's what's paying dividends right now. He hasn't been yeah, touched. There was nothing he could have done there. Air Dodge, was dead. No jump. That was a 45 seconds zero to death. Mm -hmm. All right. Chaos is going to put a little bit on the board here now. This is, it's just a place you don't want to be as Cloud. You don't want to have your back to the ledge, especially because you can't space out all the options that you got, like that right there. Poorly spaced back air will allow Zombo to start his offense at the ledge once again. All right, Chaos making it. Trying to chase with those up airs, but goes a little too far. Zombo's now able to do a tech chase. That's not dead. That's fine. 
Yeah, I like that rotor arm just reliably getting him off stage. And now with, uh, this limit is in effect. The limit could be huge. Perhaps an up B if Zomba's not expecting it, but instead Zomba is anticipating every single one of those. And that's going to be another forward throw off stage. I, don't, I think that took his... No, he no. actually did have his jump. Very nice. Very smart. Yo, what? Oh my god, what a read. Um, so that's definitely a bit of a Hail Mary tactic on there. Take it right back. That's a bit of a Hail Mary tactic on that one, but does pay off um, tempo mix-up, essentially. You know, oh, I'll guard for this amount of time, and then whatever the offense is, it'll be over. Nope. Forward smash. It's just, and hold, and hold. It's and so then. hard to do, man. Sometimes you're just like, I just want to swing. I got to swing? That's how I win the game. Yeah, it broke the combo, Gyro. Yeah. You actually cut him on the landing. It looked like he wanted to do a back air to try to beat that, but caught it in the landing, and the hitbox didn't come out. All right, now once again, Limit is on deck, meaning that, okay, yeah, he wants to be taking these stocks really early. I mean, at this point, he kind of needs to be 102%, and just all the control is right there for Zomba. Did he trade with first hit of down smash? Uh, I think he traded with a grab on that one. It looked like Zomba was trying to delay a little bit because that was a misspaced forward air, um, and Chaos with the spot dodger on there, Zomba was maybe looking to punish that. Nice. Does Call it on the dash tech. That was actually really big, taking that stock while only being at 117. 117, of course, not exactly the most healthy of ranges, but the sort of thing where he can probably take one or two hits, or like stray hits, without dying. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, okay, yep, gonna go for the forward throw. Uh, not staling the down air at that way. This might be kill. Oh, good mash! All right. He's still in it. Actually gonna get away with the back air on that one. That was right up on his shield, so I thought that would have been punish. All right, comes the laser. He's still got the jump, but this is scary. Air dodge is yeah. early. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, and at those higher percents, what makes it so tricky is that every time he gets hurt, he's off on the stage. He's mm. off on the ledge. You know, he's just getting it. Like, the like, like this love tap from a gyro puts him in this edge guard situation in yep. which Zomba has all the time to set up for it. And consider, too, that for an item throw like that, um, yeah, so Rob is holding the gyro. There's no, like, shoot the gyro animation. Not that that's particularly, like, a long wind-up anyway. But now you just, oh, I have to guess. I don't know. Am I going to be toss the gyro? And he made the call, and he guessed wrong. And sometimes you get put in yeah. the mix like that, especially when you have limited recovery options.